That's the broader story for the equity market. Elsewhere, crypto, but a big story for you through the week. Bitcoin finding its footing as it limps into the weekend with a second consecutive week of big declines on the table here. The Treasury delivering the latest blow to crypto markets, announcing transfers over $10,000 will need to be reported to the IRS. For more, here's Bloomberg's Kelly Lines. Hey, Kaylee. Hey, John. Well, we know the Biden administration has been looking to crack down on taxes. And lo and behold, cryptocurrencies don't seem like they're going to be immune to that. As you said, the IRS proposing applying to these rules to transfers over $10,000. So essentially the same rule that applies to cash transfers. And the Treasury and IRS said that this will uh, limit in incentivizing, uh, minimize incentivizing a shift in income. And it also warned about cryptocurrencies posing a significant detection problem by facilitating illegal activity, including tax evasion. So add the IRS onto a laundry list of potential headwinds and negative catalysts we've seen for Bitcoin over the last several weeks. You also have the constant Twitter musings of Elon Musk, his U-turn on allowing Bitcoin as a payment for Tesla, the PBOC warning on cryptocurrencies, and really just a broader deleveraging we have seen. So yes, Bitcoin has stabilized above the 41,000 level now, but that's after falling as low as $30,000 at one point on Wednesday. And of course, it is down by the better part of 30% over just the last 10 days. So that is a lot of volatility, a roller coaster ride to the downside for an asset that many have been trying to claim can serve as a portfolio hedge. Maybe throwing a little bit of cold water on the thesis that this can do a good job of protecting you against inflation or that it can do a better job in that effort than gold can. I would just point anyone making that argument to this chart here at GTV Go. Shows us the 60-day volatility of Bitcoin. That is in yellow. It's now at a 64 handle. Obviously, it's creeping up. Gold volatility, on the other hand, going down, John. Kelly Lines, thank you very much.